Hi everyone, hope you're all enjoying your November. I am bringing you another mocktail this week. This mocktail is called the Pearly Mocktail because it's a pear flavoured mocktail and it's barely a mocktail, honestly. I think if you made this and tried it, you'd be hard pressed to realise that there wasn't any alcohol actually in it. Um, and that comes down to basically my new Three Spirit little, um, I was going to say liqueurs, but they're not liqueurs. They're um, bittersweet, herbal, non-alcoholic, yeah, just things in my uh, <laughs> I know a lot about this. My husband actually bought a set for me um, for a Christmas present, so I've got three in there. There's three different ones. Um, and then when he realised that I was still doing my YouTube videos but not using co um, alcohol in November, he was like, do you know what, I'll just give you early um, so you can make something for that. And it has been a godsend, honestly. I've made a few things so far and they're really fantastic. Um, so yeah, if you just want something to jazz up your mocktails, obviously they can just be juice based and things like that, but um, something to replace alcohol is actually really helpful when I'm trying to come up with new ideas and new recipes and this has been fantastic. So yeah, the cocktail, pearly of mocktail, is uh, so we're using the Three Spirit Social Elixir. So this is a little bit spicier than the other ones and it goes really well in this because this is sort of like a spiced pear drink. So we have this, we have pear juice, we have some ginger syrup, we have some pear shrub, which the recipe I got from a fellow cocktail influencer on Instagram. Um, she very kindly gave me the recipe for this, it's stunning. Um, and I'll put the recipe below as well so you can try making it yourself. Um, and then the last thing is some grapefruit bitters. Now, if you want to make this at home, you can completely not add the grapefruit bitters because I am aware this is alcohol but it's such a small amount. If you're making this for at a party for people that are designated drivers or who just didn't feel like drinking, then you can totally use this, it's absolutely fine. For people that are allergic to drink or pregnant or something, probably miss it out and I don't think it would make too much difference. Um, but I'm gonna add a little bit of it in my, in my mocktail. So we're gonna get going and I'm gonna start with this beauty and I'm gonna do 100 mils in my shaker. So I'm really excited for this one. It's it was so good when I made it. I mean, I was I was very impressed. It's so nice when you're not drinking to have something to drink that feels special and doesn't just feel like a boring, you know, like coke or, or something like that. Um, it, yeah, it makes all the difference in my opinion. So 30 mils of this gorgeous pear shrub, very spicy and gorgeous. Goes in there. Then I'm going to do just 20 mils of, or thereabouts, of the ginger syrup. I'm not going to pour it into my, um, into here because it'll all get stuck because it's very, very syrupy and thick. So about 20 mils. There we go. Then I'm going to do 50 mils of my pear juice, which is gorgeous on its own. I'll be having this for breakfast the last few mornings. And then just a few drops of grapefruit bitters. Again, completely optional. One, two, two big squishes in there. There we go. So that's all my ingredients in the shaker. I'm gonna add ice. That is everything, isn't it? Yes. She says, I'll get to the end and be like, oh yeah, I forgot this main ingredient. No, the main ingredient are definitely these and they were in there. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a bit of a shake. Looks a little bit like a, the colour of like, um, you know, like a espresso martini or something like that, quite a dark brown colour. So this will make one really big mocktail or two smaller mocktails. Um, I've made probably far too much for the glass that I'm gonna pour it into, but that's okay. to try this one. Okay so my glass here I've just decorated with some pear and a little bit of baby's breath. Um, took my while to balance that so I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to try and pour at the side. I'm going to try and make life difficult for myself. Mm. Mm. 
Oh no, actually that's pretty perfect for the glass. Oh, I'm quite happy with that actually. There we go, my perlite mocktail. Just because again, I don't want to try and disturb the, uh, the garnish there. Pour a little bit into my shaker. Uh, give it a little bit of a taste for you. So good, so spicy, it's so gingery. Even though I didn't put very much ginger syrup in it, this pear shrub just tastes so gingery and spicy and I don't really like ginger beer, probably because of the fizzy part, I don't really like fizzy stuff too much, but um, yeah, it's a little bit sort of like ginger beer. Um, Oh, it's so good. If you make that for people when they're not drinking, you know, give them that, garnish it in a nice way. I mean, they're not missing out on anything and neither are you if you're not doing um, alcohol for whatever reason. Um, yeah, that is that is definitely a winner. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing one more mocktail next week as well. So um, remember to watch that. And yeah, in the meantime, happy cocktailing. Cheers.